All right, here we go. April 30th, submitted assignment. Hopefully you did see this. <laughs> a good majority of the questions were multiple choice. So uh, obviously you'd have some work to do, but I'm hoping you didn't think that these were questions amongst themselves. Those are the answers. You should have just been able to check from your work. So this is a classic compound inequality. Uh, we had tried to clear this up uh, from last week, uh, two weeks ago now from when you're listening to this video. Uh, you recognize the variable in the middle. You got your two inequality signs. You're going to keep those inequality signs all the way. Whatever you do to the middle happens to both sides. So I'm going to start by adding the two. Negative three is less than that sign comes straight down. Whatever you didn't use comes straight down. That sign comes straight down. 12. And you're going to divide by 3 because I want to try and get x by itself. Negative 1 less than x, which is less than 4. Remember, the only reason these signs would change or flip direction is if you divide by negative. We did not. Just because this number is negative doesn't mean that sign flips. It's all about what you do. We divided by a positive 3, nothing changes. This seems to match up with the letter C. Don't get tricked. It's not A. That's those weird inequality signs. Okay, it's letter C. All right, number two. As you can see there, number two says, which of the following is, which of these corresponds to that graph? So... This has endpoints at negative 1 and 5. Well, unfortunately, those are all correct. So those all say negative 1 and 5. Uh, they are both open circles, but these are only greater than or less than symbols, so I can't eliminate that. You would know, though, if it was an or question, because they would have arrows at least 1, 99% of the time, too. So no arrows. It's got to be either A or B. So remember what I had always said with these type of questions, and this was like number one as well. X is between negative one and five. All my answers are between negative one and five. Definitely letter A. Letter B, it's written really weird, okay? And technically when you read it, it says negative one is greater than X. So that means negative 1 is bigger than x, which means x is numbers like negative 2, negative 3, negative 4.